Alexa, stop. What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I'm doing a different kind of video. I feel like I'm saying that quite a lot recently. Um, I am just figured why not do a little, little vlog today. Um, Super Showdown day, obviously. Uh, Zach's going to be coming round, he's got work until 5 so he'll probably be here at 6 when the pay-per-view starts or the kickoff show starts. Um, but today I'm also expecting a new iPhone delivery. Uh, I'm going to step back here because the natural lighting's better than the other side of my room. Um, it is currently 12 past 11 a.m. and um, I got a what's it? Sorry, I've just woke up. I got a message from Vodafone say uh, telling me that my delivery will be 11:59 to 12:59 tomorrow, and they messaged me that yesterday. Um, so I'm expecting an iPhone XR um, that I got on a steal of a deal. Um, Vodafone 100% recommend. I've been with them for about six years. Um, loyal customer. They have literally. I'm on an iPhone 7 Plus right now, and they have given me. Uh, well, right. This, I'll get into the specs. Yeah. So this iPhone 7 Plus is 32 gigabyte of uh, storage, 32 gigabyte data, unlimited calls, unlimited texts. I'm paying 50 pound a month, which is pretty steep. Um, however, because I've been a loyal customer, they have now given me for the exact same price per month iPhone XR, 128 uh, gigabytes and 120 gigabytes of um, data, unlimited calls, unlimited text, which is absolutely insane. So I'm waiting for that to arrive. Um, once again, Zach's coming round, and I think I'm just going to do, if well, what if I ever, if I do anything different today, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, let's go downstairs. It's the big dog. He looks, I think I may have woke him up coming downstairs, Woody. He doesn't like the camera very much, does he? He's huge. You guys don't actually understand. On camera, he doesn't look that big. But if I stand here and look at the sofa, he's a big boy. Like, his head is like bigger than mine. Tired doggo. So currently, no one's actually in my house. Um, my dad's obviously at work. Um, my mum's at work and Georgie has taken my niece Tilly to Sainsbury's. Um, I would have gone if I was awake, <laughs> but I wasn't, so I haven't. Uh, Sainsbury's is just a little grocery store over here in the UK. Um, I know I've got my American viewers are higher than my UK viewers. Last time I checked my demographic, so I have to explain stuff like that. But yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do for breakfast. I probably won't eat anything. Um, and I'll check the fridge or I'll, I'll probably have something like a fruit corn or like yogurt or something like that but I'm alone in the house and it's silent and I don't get like loads of people get freaked out by that I've seen people that hate being home alone it's like why it's just my house I don't care um, but yeah we'll see what happens typical British weather it's raining great Fantastic. So it's just come to me what I can actually do to pass some time. Um, and what it is, is WWE 24. Um, WWE released a WWE 24 about Ronda Rousey after Raw this week. And I haven't actually watched it yet. And it's an hour long. So hopefully by the time I finish watching, it will be about 12 o'clock. And if we'll see if my phone's here or not. But yeah, let's do it. So that WWE 24 was actually very enjoyable. Uh, I was a big fan of that. It really goes to show how Ronda like um, felt that she had to give something to the women, not that she was taking something from them. So um, what did they say? One of the examples was um, she didn't want the women to feel like she was taking their spot. Um, and because of that, it made the women feel like, or Natalia in particular said, that Ronda coming in felt that that, that Ronda would draw more of an audience so the women can then step up their game to get more viewership, which was perfectly the good analogy of it. Uh, no phone yet, but I don't know what to do now. I think I'm just gonna watch some uh, I think I'm just gonna watch some Waterloo Road. Um, Waterloo Road is a TV show that ran about I think it was either nine or ten seasons and it's about school. In the UK, it's like the most disrupt. Or it's it's not a real school. It's a TV like a soap. Um, it's like EastEnders and you know Coronation Street. It's a show like that. Um, 
but it's about like the story is the school is got the poorest and the most disruptive children in the entirety of England and it's just you know it's just good show I recommend watching it every episode is on YouTube uh, on the Waterloo Road channel I've been binge watching it the last few days I loved it it ended in like 2012 I think um, and yeah so I've just been going back to watching it from season one I'm on season three episode eight now so you know guess I'll do that for a bit more until the doorbell rings so my sister's just drove down the road, so she's back from Sainsbury's. Um, I did ask her to pick me up uh, two Monster Energies, some Haribo Squashies, and a pack of Chocolate Mauer uh, M&Ms. Sorry, not Chocolate Mauer M&Ms, that's not a thing. That should be a thing. Chocolate M&Ms. Um, and we'll see if she's actually done that or not. She never asked me to send her the money. I did offer, but she's probably forgotten. I mean, she's got a lot on her plate, so that could be it. But, yeah, we'll see. She's coming in now. Hello, you. Hello. You're meant to be asleep. I wanted to lock the car. <laughs> hey, we can't play in the garden, mate. It's raining. We have, we have to play blanket in here, yeah? He's a good boy. So Sainsbury's didn't have any chocolate M&Ms and the only monsters they had were the purple one, which I don't like. Um, so Georgie said that we can go out later or I'll go out with mum later to buy it. Um, I'm about to hop on PS4 with my friend Tom and yeah we're probably just going to play on there for a bit until it's just a good way to pass the time until my phone gets here the only other thing that i'm going to ask you guys about is my ecw championship my ecw title has been living on my bed since my birthday when i got it because i've got nowhere to put it my wall hanger on this side has got the big gold my wall hanger on this side's got the ic down here we've got my other two belts there's nowhere for me to put it so i was thinking if there's a potential way for me to put it across on this like cross beam here um, maybe put some screws in not the whole way but like put them in about halfway so you can fit the belt behind it so my belt can sit up like this if I hold it there like that on the wall sort of obviously flat and straight but you know what I mean I'm about but we'll to the PS4 so I'll see you guys when I get my phone I guess Hi mate. Hello, how are you? Yes, sir. Sorry, my second. Yes. No, I'm I gonna bring again new second. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's why it's late to do it. Yeah, that's no worries. What's mate. your name? Joe. Joe, yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you much, mate. mate. Okay, so I've got it right here in this parcel. iPhone XR should be black. Uh, let's cut it open and just see if it's the right one. I mean, fingers crossed. It has happened to me before where they've sent the wrong colour, um, but hopefully this time that isn't the case. So opening it up, yes, yeah, the black XR. Here we go. Here's the box. iPhone, obviously, and this is fresh. Let's take it. Oh, take the wrapper off. We got 128 gigabytes right there. Uh, what's this? This is just my delivery address. We're gonna do the. Ooh. Oh, up we go. Open this off. And there it is. What a beauty. I oh, it's freezing. <laughs> iPhone XR. It's a bit smaller than my uh, iPhone 7 Plus. However, the screen is bigger. So the actual like handset is uh, smaller, but the screen itself is much bigger. So here it is. We're just gonna peel off the back. This is wireless charging as well, guys. So if I want to buy a wireless charger, which I probably will some point down the line, I can. Um, and here it is. Let's power this thing up. If it has got any battery in it at all. Yep, it does. Powering up. What else have we, I'll put the phone aside for a second. What else have we got in the box? So we've got another new Apple plug, which is good. Um, some Apple headphones again, thank God, because mine are starting to break. Um, I don't have AirPods, I've just got the traditional ones, you know, I'm still broke. So, don't have AirPods. Then we got the Apple Lightning cable, and underneath, is there anything? Nope, that's that. Inside here, we've got all the, the like, paperwork. Right, this is the stuff telling me how to actually use it. Um, obviously, I don't have a home button anymore. We've got the little key right here. 
for the SIM card and everything. Anything else in here? Oh yes, the best part, screw the phone. We want the Apple stickers. So I'm gonna set this new phone up, guys, and I'll see you afterwards. Zach hasn't actually got here yet. It's six o'clock, the kickoff show has just started. My new phone is all set up. Face ID, unlock it, and then bang. All set up. It doesn't have my SIM card in it at the moment because I don't have a case and obviously iPhone XR is made out of like glass, like literally for the most part. So I can't afford to go out without it having a case on it. So I've ordered that off Amazon Prime. That'll be here tomorrow. So I'm not switching my SIM card until I get that case. But yeah, just watching the kickoff show for Super Showdown. Right now it's just doing the whole like call back to the whole Brock Lesnar thing that happened on Raw. Um, but yeah, Zach should be here soon. So I'll continue filming when he is. Guess who's here? It's your boy, Zach's here. I'm 16. Right, he's not. We just think something may have made him 16. His name on his birth certificate, like, says 2002. But we're pretty sure he's 2001. <laughs> I'm just really numb. Because I went, I, I grabbed my birth certificate today. Right, and it ju I just saw that it says 2002. Uh, this is huge. This means that I shouldn't have been in this man's year. I shouldn't have made friends with the people that I made friends with. I should be taking my GCSEs this year. I shouldn't be in college. This, and I don't know what to believe. There, there's got to be a mix-up. I have to be 17, not 16. I was telling him the school would have checked everything when he yeah. first enrolled. So he's definitely 17, birth certificate's just wrong. But yeah, anyway, Super Showdown's going to be on in soon. <laughs> yeah. So I am just going to order us a pizza. And then, blah, yeah. Blah. Pizza and that. Right. <laughs> right, anyway, yeah, we'll see you. So we're a few matches into the Super Showdown show and uh, it looks like we're gonna be getting a, like a documentary style thing on Triple H, which obviously Triple H, one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. I am very interested to see, so is Zach. He does so much for the company though. It's just showing us literally how much he actually does. Creation and destruction, Triple H's road to WrestleMania. Watch any time on demand. I will be watching that. Triple H, that fucking awesome. you are a legend. What are they talking about now? So we've had Andrade versus Finn so far. Finn retains. Uh, Rollins versus Corbin. No Brock cash in. He tried, but he didn't. Rollins wins. Um, Lars Sullivan just killed Lucha House Party. Reigns lost to Shane. What's that? What's up next? Uh, what is this? Yes, the match I've been looking forward to the most. Triple H versus Randy Orton. I gotta film a reactions video, so we'll see. We'll see you in the vlog later on, I guess. Say bye, Zach. See you later, folks. Okay, guys, so I'm ending the vlog here. It's currently on. Zach, what's the time? 2, Two a.m. Um, we watched Super Showdown. Obviously, concerned about Undertaker and Goldberg's health. Um, and we seen that Goldberg tweeted out that he knocked himself out. But hopefully, he's all right. Um, after Super Showdown, me and Zach watched Super Bad, which is a bloody hilarious film. Um, and now I'm just editing our reactions, and then I'm going to be going to bed. So I do hope you enjoyed this vlog, guys. Um, I haven't done too much today, but I do hope you enjoyed seeing it. Say hi to my Snorlax pillow, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.